Going Dakota. Here you are. Look, there's a strange fish here. Don't get too hasty. Too close. It's a nasty one. And several brothers have already been injured. Don't worry, I'll just take a look. But... It looks so scary. Don't be afraid, I'm here. Well, it looks like something's happening under, under the wharf at the bridge. It seems like a monstrous fish is hurting people there. But maybe it's already quieted down. The girl would also like to go up and have a feel of this odd fish. Maybe it would be good to have a look. Definitely does look good. Okay. Step forward and have a look. Touch the weird fish. Look, that fish is somehow still in the hands of Ereli. My lady, if you want to have a look, you can, I'll protect you. The fish looked like it was dead, but it attacked the girl when she got near, so do it to protect the girl. Oh, hello. Well, that did nothing. Interestingly. Whoa, that thing spat out a shell just before it perished. It nearly hit me. Shell? Let me have a look. What's interesting about some dirty thing from the inside of a fish? Sulan's fe trade festival approaches and this faintly glimmering shell might just be the foretold item of legend. Could think these fools don't know that. I know now. Young adventurer, thank you for your efforts. It would be best to give this foul object to me for safekeeping, lest it sully your fine clothes. My brother always say that something is amiss when people are too earnest. You must be up to something. You... It doesn't matter. The trade festival approaches and I don't want to debate it with you. I wish to buy this shell regardless of the cost. If I want to go on fighting monsters in the future, then I shouldn't be afraid of getting my hands dirty or getting tired. I'd like to check it out some more. That's a lot of money. Our brothers say that money gets in the way of our ability to follow our beliefs. Let's go, my treat. Let's eat it at a nice restaurant. Oh no, we had such a nice chance. Go, go, go to the tavern and pick out. When it comes to wine, the lemon's fruit wine is the best. It's just a pity. Something. A talisman many people are look looking for. Oh. Interesting. Can I sell stuff to you? Oh. Nom nom. The fish spat out the conch. And the merchants nearby are willing to pay a lot of money for it. Use the money to go drinking with Dakota. The Falmarims, fine, licorice are the stuff of legend, hey. As the Volopines say, the good of the few is not as great as the good of the many. Drink on me. Really? Look, everyone's grabbing shots, even those not drinking. How nice it is to have a fat purse. Huh. Looks like Sulan's taverns are really puzzling. 
It's better to have fun with company and it looks like Kakuta will be giving everyone a free drink. Interesting. Here, take this. Thank you, friend. You get some as well. I'm not drunk. Oh, you. Shopkeep the bell. This world has everything you could possibly want. You just have to be willing to take out your wallet and spend everything inside. As a token of thanks for your generosity, the establishment would like to offer you a gift. Ah, it wasn't me. That It's that drunkard over there. We welcome you as well. Please allow me to give you this token of my appreciation. Thank you for your generosity. Come my lady, drink some more. The liquor is so sweet, you are not going to get drunk. It's coconut liquor. Brother Anuran brought me some last time. Nami? Long time no see. You are even more radiant now than last we met. Anuran instructed that everything will be free if you come. We want you and your friends to have a fantastic time. Buy the guests some drinks. The shopkeeper of Sulanin is very thankful and wants to give you a gift. Bring the shopkeeper to meet Takuta. Ah, that... that's too much. Ah, it's great, it's great! Many thanks to the, the Annabelle or whatever it's called. Can I have this? Go. Of course, the friends of Anuran are always our honored guest. This master Anuran sounds like a great fella. I'd also like to be his friend. Apparently the shopkeeper of Sulanin knows the frail girl. Master Anuran wants to pay for the girl, so that looks like more money saved. Go with Takuta to Sulan's cottiers. My lucky day, go. We still have money to spend. And she's this guy. I would be able to get some nice equipment for some money or something, but now I have to go drink it all. Ooh, the clothes here look really good. So, these clothes, are they for me? Right, of course. Oh, choose the most expensive one you see. Ah, lady, here's some for you. Your comments were ru ruined by those two checks before. It's not lady. I have a name. It's Nami. Ah, Nami. Right then. Well, your new clothes on, eh? There are many outfits in the store, and Akuta picked one for Nami. Asks Nami to put it on and see. They look good on you. I... I've changed. I... I feel a bit weird. Isn't it a bit ugly? No. How could that be? It would have to have cost more than 50 plates of ribbon fish. It's much cuter than before. Hey, give me some space. When did Sulan fashion get into children's clothing? Nami donned uh, her new comments, looking splendid, if not a bit sheepish, with all the attention she has garnered. But the rich dame nearby wasn't so happy about Nami being the center of attention. How will this play out? I'm... I'm sorry, I'll go now. Oh, when such a beautiful pearl sparkles, fish eyes are completely overshadowed and stare in envy. You, you... I would never have thought that the fabled High Prince of Sulan could be so uncovered. 
Manners are a response to beauty, not to people who will dirt it. The Falmari aristocrat defused the situation with the rich girl, announced rather ostentatiously that she would buy out the entire store, but it turns out the aristocrat owns the store, and he also knows Nami. Talk to him. And such a beautiful uh, sparkles fish. Yeah. I'm not willing to sell you. <clears throat> Nami, it suits you so well. Take it with you. Your delicate features make me think of the most beautiful flower in this world. Anuran, don't spend so much. I can. Wimp, how can you be Anuran Egar? He's a great hero and a generous one at that. I will not allow you to speak of Anuran that way. After my sisters, he has done the most for me out of anyone. We meet again, young hero. It would not have thought to you would rate me so highly. Young hero, you speak affectedly, affectedly but it seems an accurate judge of people. It is my honor to have obtained your praise. Perhaps it would be better for us to live here and discuss matters along the way. Looks like Anuran is in love with Nami's sister. He asks you to leave the store for a talk. Get out of here first. Some kind of demonic energy emanated from the city hall. Huh. Okay. Was it just now? Akuta, what's wrong? There's six that some kind of demonic energy emanated from City Hall. Yeah, I heard. I'll take a look right away. I cannot allow any demonic harms to spread. Passerby speak of a magical aura spotted in front of the city manor. As a guardian, Demon Slayer, Akuta's interest is picked. Causes damage to enemy units and disrupts their bodies so that they have trouble moving. Why isn't that on my... It's a special skill. Oh, it's this. Let's get here then. Move, let me take a look. What's the big deal? Slow down. This guy is filled with demonic energy. Don't touch him. Say, isn't that the guy who just offered to buy the seashell from of us? It's you, sir. If it isn't those two fellas, they sold the shimmering shell to our lord. They must be in cahoots with the demons. What? You two, please come with me to city hall. Take them. Oh. Great. What is covered in black spots? There are, there are powerful demonic energies in this shimmering shell. You must be working together with the demons. Take it. We haven't seen any shells. This thing was show, sold for a prin princely sum. You haven't seen it. You must be lying. The city manor is guarded by soldiers, the body on the ground is the wealthy merchant who bought the conch from you. And his followers have identified you as the original owner of the conch. Follow the guards to the city manor and explain everything to the lord. Still sub stubborn I see. Perhaps a proper beating will pull a confession out of you. 
The Lord is not convinced of your innocence and sends his guards to attack you. Stand your ground. I will simply destroy them. Mayor, please wait. These two are my friends. Beneath their ragged appearance, they have heroic aspirations that are not too well understood in these peaceful times. These people are not scoundrels. Anur and Nami, and Nami arrived to tell the Lord to stop attacking you just as you defeated the Frostbite Captain. Listen to Anuran. I hope that you'll be able to launch further investigations into this, as there may be something behind all this. As you, Sir Egar, are willing to speak on their behalf, then I'll give them an opportunity. This mysterious, mysterious sh a seashell is a rarity indeed. Anor appears to appears and pleads on your behalf, and the Lord finally gives you a chance. To explain what is going on with the conch, you explain the matter to him. Don't worry, no harm will come to you. Tell the truth. Akuta and I gave him this conch. Oh, so that's the way it is. Are you in cahoots with the demons? How many of you are there? Don't be so hasty, we got the guns from the belly of a fish. Don't be so hasty, we got this guns from the belly of a fish. You think you can pin your crime on a dead fish? Nonsense. Um. This guy. Sir Egar, as you can see, it's not that I didn't give them a po an opportunity, it's that they are so incorrigible. Come on, come guards. No. It wasn't like that, the seashell came out of the belly of that weird fish. Silence, you fools will dare to cause a ruckus in court. Are you with them? Since you would go against an order of the court, that is grounds enough to be considered a crime. Guards, take them away. I'm not on a person, please. Yeah. Just a minute. Yes, just a minute, you... Thing. The shell contains the distilled la anchor of lost spirits from the ocean's floor. It seeks out souls whenever it touches blood. It has nothing to do with them. Abyssal! Abyssal! The Enchantress Nor! The trade festival is approaching and no one with any connection to any demonic energies must be allowed to harm it. Interfering with the trade festival would be a blow to Sulan's economy. The Bristol priest is here. She said that the conch contains the distilled rancor of lost spirits from the ocean's floor and seeks out souls whenever it touches blood. It has nothing to do with you, but will the Lord believe the priest that think you are not responsible for the merchant's death? Ah, huh? no, no, the vengeful spirits have appeared. The shell must have touched blood. This matter has to be investigated. You, comrades of the condemned, quickly tell me what happened. He took the shell out of to show off, saying that he had got a really good deal, that it was some kind of dead treasure. But it has a sharp edge, and he accidentally cut his finger. Drops of blood seeped into the shell and then... Easy, use my blood and then we shall see. Shall see. The conch cut the merchant's finger and his blood came into contact with the conch which matches what Enchantress Noor said. Place drops of Hakuta's blood on the crunch to see if lost spirits appear. Come back! Oh wow! gonna kill you. Takes a little while, but it will be done.
The abyss of Gabal will deal with this matter ourselves. We ask everyone to refrain from getting involved. Exactly, Sulan is protected by the Mother Whale. Along with Enchantress Noor, I'm sure nothing will happen. Please leave Sulan as soon as possible and speak not of today's event. Should anything slip out, it would cause a panic. You put the drop of Akuta's blood on the glow crunch, and suddenly angry Falmari souls suddenly appear. Double suddenly, huh? Appear before you. Defeat the vengeful souls, but why did Anuran cry in Chandra's Noor? We will not utter a word. We would never dare do anything to disrupt the city's trade festival. Enchantress Noor said the spirits will be taken care of by a bristle cabal, and that you should say, stay out of it, then left with Nami. But Anuran looks weighed down by something, what's on his mind? The Enchantress looks worried. Always so unyielding, when will I be able to? My heart is look like a sharpened arrow. It soars straight up into this air and takes me to the places of heart belongs. And my heart belongs. Huh? This guy speaks in riddles. That fearsome lady has taken Nami away. Is she in danger? We must pursue her, quickly. You need not worry, she is a holy one of the Abyssal Cabal. Akuta, will we listen to the lord of the city and leave Sulan? I can see that there's there have been a lot of problems occurring of late in Sulan. Let us remain here for now and investigate further. Anuran steps up his mockery of the lord, yet the lord is unfazed. What does this all mean? No idea. Your honor. Still here? My judgment is final. Do not waste your breath. The Zulan Strait Festival is approaching, but these problems are cropping up. It's a worrying development. That strange man on Zulan's bridge. He seems to be very well trained in the mystical arts, and do know about the great many things. As for the matter of the vengeful spirits, if he is willing to act, then there will be no is issue. Unfortunately, he has set himself apart from this world. Hey, Arely, do you hear what his fella said? Let's go to the bridge and see. The mayor informs you of a great master under Zulan Bridge. See what you can learn from him. Sure. But that's something I will do. All this nonsense about having to worry do having nothing to worry about. Who do you think something? This is something I will do next time.